to install extensions and also Visual Studio Code for C++ coding. So let's look at this. So first, if you don't have Visual Studio, I already have the Visual Studio, but you can simply type VS Code in Google and then you go to the first link then you will find it so depending on your operating system you select one i've already downloaded for my mac os so you go this side and then you go to the downloads then you install it okay great so after you install your visual studio code you need to set it up so that you can run your c plus plus code in it so you go to docs and for docs you go to c plus plus here and then we're gonna install for mac so for mac we'll go to this side so first the first uh, prerequisite which we have installed now then we install the extension for the c plus plus but what we have to do is let's install this one first first you need to check if you have this installed already using this one so so you can simply check here just paste this in your command line and if you have it it's gonna show so this will tell you the version okay it's taking some time so let's wait for a little while so trying to check whether we have this installed uh okay so it says what our apple clan version that is apple clan version 15 point something is already installed but you have to know if you are using windows you go to this side which is uh windows for this one good so i already have this one installed and if if per any means yours is not installed you go to here it says c clan isn't installed and you enter the following command so you go xcode select and then install you copy this and then you paste it inside your terminal and then it's going to install that is very simple right then let's let's look at windows for those using windows you go to windows side and the same prerequisite and then the same extension but the difference for windows is you need to download this the M msys2 you need to download this and install after you download and install you just go to your search bar and then type msys2 then you're gonna see uh that that installed uh, uh, uh a folder or install I mean the install application then this is also a direct link to install that and then you can simply use that as well so when you run this one you need to what you need to open MS terminal for you so anytime you run this it is going to open this terminal and in the terminal what you have to do is to install this to chain by running this command inside this terminal this msys2 terminal then after that you're gonna see all this loading inside inside your your terminal for the msys so after that you need to press enter when it's finished installing just press enter enter and then when you see anything asking you y or n you press on y and then you press enter then after that you need to go to your environment variable you need to search this in your search bar in windows and then you type the environment variable and you need to add this path to your environment variable very easy so after you add a path to it, then now you can check whether your main GW installation has completed by typing. First, you need to just go to this side, G++ version, and then you check 
this one you can check this one too but mostly if this one is installed then everything will work correctly now you can run your c++ code but let's get back to uh, mac and then let's see now i have everything installed i have to get the extension on the site so the extension is the same for both windows and mac so you can see c slash c plus plus so i search for that c slash c plus plus and i have to see that extension here it's, it's the first one so then i'll install it it is currently installing So let's wait for a little while as it installs. Okay, so now we have the installation. Then what we have to do is to do we want to set up your select by my default compiler create C file. Okay. So what we have to do is to just create a new file just for us to test and then see if our C++ is functioning now so we can save this file as a C++ extension so uh, let me save save as let me save it on my desktop yes and then no let me save it here on so I would say let's just type index index dot c plus plus c plus plus and then I'll save it. Okay, so we have we have our C plus plus file. And do you want to install the recommended C plus plus extension package? Yes, you do install and that is what it is installing so now we get all set we go back here and then we can simply try to run a C++ code let me paste some C++ code in here and hello world we click here and then we say run C++ file C slash C++ file then we select the what the G++ here then when you see the build finish successful we we'll go to the debug and you should see hello world right here so that has been successful let's say we change something here let's say hello uh, techno tv and then we save then we run again then we go to the G++, it has built successfully, so we go to the debug and we should see Hello World TV. So this is how to run C++ using Visual Studio. First you need to check the extension, you need to check your C line, whether you have it on your Mac, and then for Windows instruction, it's very simple. You type in Visual Studio code and then you follow the instructions here. Great. Peace, I'm out.